What is happening guys? Welcome back to the Lunar Dark Nuzlocke. So at the end of last episode, we got instruction to go to the Poke Center. Apparently everybody's waiting there for us to have a nice little meeting about the Team Solar and Team Lunar people. So uh, we haven't really explored around this city at all, but we have the Poke Center here. And we definitely need to heal because we took quite the beating last time. Charlotte just about died. And uh, luckily we didn't lose anybody though. So we're on top. Um, so I'm interested to see what's going to be going on. It's probably some stuff about the legendaries. Uh, we haven't gotten too much of a storyline on the evil team yet, so let's see what's happening. The gang is all here. What's up? Ah, Hayden, you've made it. Come, have a seat. The professor always looks like somebody took a shit in his Cheerios this morning. Why are you so angry? My god. I have to tell you new information I found out about the two organizations, which are known as Team Solar and Team Lunar, okay? As I already told you, Team Solar and Team Lunar are searching for the elemental stones. The five stones belonging to the elemental Pokemon of Rakoto. Legend has it that these two that these stones trapped Solaran, the Pokemon of Order, and Lunaro, the Pokemon of Chaos, in another dimension to stop them from fighting. I remember this story, my dad told me it when I was a little kid. Cool. Said that if all five stones are reunited, it would open up a portal to this dimension and would release Solaran and Lunaro back into our world. That's correct, Kira. If they succeed in their mission, they will release Solaran and Lunaro back into our our world, where they will fight once again, destroying everything in their way. We can't let that happen. Thanks for the input, Rodney. Didn't want you to be involved in this, but it seems you already are. You must keep that core stone safe and away from them, Hayden, at all costs. Team Lunar already has the Earth Stone, and Team Solar has the Volt Stone. That leaves the last two stones out there. You know they, where they are, Professor. My research has led me to them being somewhere near Rainbow Reef and Whisper Tunnel. Must be hidden temples somewhere in those areas. We should go there and get the stones before Team Solar and Lunar do. That's the plan, Rodney, but you need to keep it safe. At the moment... Got a word that both teams have been seen near Rassic City. They must be after something there. May I request that you three head over to Rassic City and see what they're doing. There's an ancient artifact museum there. Perhaps there's something there that they're looking for? Okay, leave it to us, Professor. Yeah, you got it, buddy. We'll stop them at all costs. I know I could count on you three. I also have another gift, okay, which will help you to stop these teams. This one is for you, Rodney. What does he get? This one's for yours. And, okay, hello. Last but not least, we got a Salasma. Oh, that's the... Uh, we have Mega Stones for that would have been my starter, although I definitely killed that. I didn't realize you could Mega Evolve in this game. Hello? Wow, thanks, Professor. What, what is this? This is the rare stone called the Mega Stone. Seems to be, seems when it's near a specific Pokemon, it reacts in some way with it. So that's damn unfortunate. I killed my starter. Sending you three to Rassic City, there's a specialist of Mega Stones. Lizzie, you should show her this. I think she could help you find out how it reacts with her Pokemon. Maybe we have a Mon that can Mega Evolve on our team already. Probably unlikely, but... That's all I can do for you three. Now it's time to go. Stop your team. Okay, well, interesting little team meeting we had there, but we're essentially just supposed to head to the next city now. I guess we could talk to these people with their quests. I never end up doing these quests, though, because they're always kind of a hassle. Someone who can satisfy my greatest wish. Somebody told me about a water Pokemon, which has different colors depending on the gender. Male is blue, female is pink. Um, sure, I'll say yes, but I'm probably not going to do that for you, buddy. You can just go out and do it yourself. How about you? You know something easy? Searching for a trainer can show me three emotion Pokemon. Pupatal, Pupiro, and Puplash. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just say no. So, we got more important stuff to be taken care of here, lady. But, uh, I guess we should also kind of just check out what's going on in this city. This town reminds me of my hometown. You, have, you wouldn't have heard of it. Oh, I bet you I might have. Uh, we'll also grab some lemonades while we have this, uh, this opportunity at the vending machine. Why not? does take forever to get uh i wish you could just choose how many you want but uh, i mean we'll just we'll just grab two because that heckin takes forever but there's also probably some stuff in these houses we have that boat area we got some captains what's up another legend of a white humbreach that swims around route 12 although i've never seen it heard stories from people who have interesting legend about a ship that was attacked by a giant lisquid Ship sank and lost all of its treasures at the bottom of the ocean. No one knows what happened to the treasure or where it went. Or the giant Lisquid. Ooh. Okay, so we got some other stuff going on there. Um, let's see. Okay, we can't go in between those houses, unfortunately. But we might as well. Now to see what this place has to offer for us. I love your Pokemon. They look strong. To fill your Pokedex, I have something for you. Which stone do you want? Ooh, Dawnstone or Duskstone? I'm just going to keep mashing and then hit A. Okay, we got a Dawnstone. Do we need this? Is there anything I need a Dawnstone for? But, okay, thanks, guy. I probably should have waited to get that, but, you know, whatever. 
Sorry, I don't have time to talk. I'm watching the daily fishing contest. Okay, well, pretty boring city, it seems. Uh, we have not gone into the sailing museum yet, have we? Did we go in the sailing museum? I did, yeah, we paid, we, we checked that out. Because then we came down this way. Is that? We have a couple of houses, but then I think we just go right and then up. We'll take us to Rassic City. My boyfriend is such a dreamer. He wants to battle the Elite Four. He forgot that he just has three badges. Everybody knows that you need eight badges to take part in the Rikodo Championship. After winning it, you can battle the Elite Four. It's been forever since we've done a gym battle. This town is the best place to live. Rex, one of the Elite Four, comes often from Rassic City. Next time, I will meet him. I want to battle him. Well, you could just live in Rassic City, and that would be way cooler, I assume. Now, one last house it looks like before... We're able to get the hell out of here. What's up? I'm the Pokemon Move Maniac. We're a single move that Pokemon can learn growing up. Also a collector of heart scales. Uh, so we can... Um, I do have a heart scale. Should we see... What some mons could learn? Let's go with... Uh, let's see what Donna can learn. So we can get uh, Defense Girl, Spike Cannon, Poison Sting, Gunk Shot, Mud... Well, gunk Shot can be decent. I just hate the accuracy of Gunk Shot, though. So we can get Steamroller back. I think we're going to give up. Uh, maybe I'll do some research and come back and see if we need to do some move relearning from that guy later. But for now, let's check out what's going on on the beach. Sometimes you can see Whaley jumping out of the water here. It's a spectacular sight. I haven't seen any of the whale Pokemon. Huh? What's the matter? I'm just here to train my very own Pokemon journey. Cool. Father sends you to talk with me about my journey. Oh, okay. We remember this guy. No way that I would uh, decide to take over the farm instead of starting my very own adventure. Here's the deal. I'll show how talented I am, but if you win, I'll go back and talk again with my father. Okay, so I totally forgot about this kid, but we found him. So, youngster Ren here has two Pokemon. He's got a Bolson, level 38. So, Ranja, um, we should be okay against this thing. Go ahead and uh, fry you up a little bit as you're going to swagger me, which is super annoying. I don't want to deal with swagger. Confusion scares the hell out of me because I'm gonna get credit and then hit myself and it's just gonna be It's just gonna be a bad time. So, you know, what? we're gonna switch into Donna Basically just switching between Ranja and Donna these days because Kind of the two that need leveling up here. Other than that our team is pretty well-rounded. I don't say so myself We'll just kill you on a bulldoze See you later, buddy. Oh wow. That didn't even that did not kill it at all. All right Now this thing gets the swagger off on Donna, bruh Stop that, okay. I believe that we can get through this confusion. Come on. You can do it, buddy. Come on. Yeah, we break through, and the bulldozer is going to do it. So, I might just put Donna in front. It seems like we're going to have quite a few water types as we get into the water here. Next is a pool dog. There's a water type. Um, can't do that with Ranja either. We're just going to go into Charlotte. Marvin would be the better idea, but Charlotte needs some levels. So, young pool dog, cat to the zag scissor. Look at that drool. You nasty. Soak. These things always like to transform us into water type, which seemed like a bad idea for a water Pokemon using that. It's like, what do you want me to be water type for? Now you're just making me resist your Aqua Slam. You played yourself. Smart move, buddy. Okay, so down goes the pool dog. Get ourselves some solid experience, and he's been defeated. This can't be true. You're not as good as you thought you are, kid. Can't believe that I couldn't win against you. May my, may my father, may my father is right. You are not as talented as I thought. A lot, of, uh, a lot of like weird grammar in this game, but you know, whatever. Okay, uh, so we can't actually go down any further. Looks like we can only head to the right. So let's actually take a look at um, the Poke Gear here. What are we looking at on the map? So yep, yeah, we just gotta go right and then up. Seems like a pretty watery route. And then we arrive at the Ancient Pass and then Rassic City. So I'm pretty excited. I believe there is a gym there too, so that should be fun. Um, also, I think this is a new this is a new area. We could definitely catch the first thing we come across here, right? So, Sailport Town. We don't have an encounter in Sailport Town, and then there's Route 13. So, technically, if we stay in the route, we could get a new encounter. Or if we stay in the town. But we're just going to go right up. Actually, I think this is still Sailport Town, isn't it? Well, we found ourselves a whaley. Look, he's got some barnacles on him and everything. I love it. Okay. Well, level 34. Let's give you a flame burst. Because surely that's not going to kill you. Critical hit, though. Freaking spooking me. This thing does have Scald. Ranja is going to get quite hurt by that, but that's all right. Also forgot to switch Ranja out. But we'll go right into Happy on this thing because we can throw some balls. So Whaley is a pretty cool encounter. The, uh, kind of a little, little baby Whale Lord. So 
No, Skull does not hurt Happy, but of course gets the burn. Of freaking course you do. Alright, let's, uh, let's just try to go for Ultra Ball. We ain't wasting no time. Please just let me have you, Whaley. Seems like a pretty badass water type. Alright, Whaley was caught. Probably just pure water type, I would assume. Yep. Whaley's blubbery skin protects it from the cold, deep ocean. Without a lung large enough to hold their breath for long, however, they can only dive under seas for under an hour. I oh, hate to see it. Let's go ahead and give you the nickname Finnegan. <laughs> Seems fitting. Alright. Finnegan the Whaley has been caught. Man, that's pretty cool. Okay. Um, let's switch out Ranja here. And we'll go with probably just Charlotte, because Donna doesn't have much to do against a lot of water types either, so. That's alright. Probably just some more Whaley's. I think this is the only area where you can find Whaley's, because I wasn't able to see anything, any of these earlier on our water routes, but. That's pretty cool. I wonder if that wrecked ship that they were talking about is around here somewhere. Can we go into it? Route 13, so this technically is a new area as well. And oh my Jesus, it's a squid, it's a squid art. Okay, so yeah, Route 13, it just turned into a new route, so we can actually catch this thing also. And that's pretty sweet, it's level 36. I think this thing's poison type, we could probably cross poison it and not kill it, right? Uh, never mind. we, yep, okay, it's not poison type. Lesson learned, I just killed my encounter, that was actually a very cool squid. Fuck, why, why am I like this? I just hoped that that thing was gonna be poison type, I mean, it's a, Suck. Tentacool, you really hacked me there. I thought everything was. Alright, well. I'm gonna go ahead and chalk that down as a mistake on my end, but that happens pretty often, as we've come to realize. This lad just got himself a Whaley. I'm excited to see what Whaley evolves into, if it does evolve. You would think that it would, but you never know in this game. Next is a Hamow. Whoa. What the fuck? A what? Oh my god. That is a badass shark. Is that just an evolved form? Is this thing steel type? Is that a steel shark? You got freaking laser beams. Yeah, so this is a steel type shark. And iron head hurts quite a bit. Ouch. Um, I don't know why. I Fuck, I didn't mean to switch. I didn't mean to switch into Dracula. I clicked, I matched A too quickly. Bruh. This thing just goes for an aqua sound slam. We're probably good just crunching this thing. Um, not my best idea. See, it doesn't even kill it. Damn it. I th at least thought it was going to be able to kill it. Uh, but we do get some bloodthirst, so, you know, that's that, that's something. Damn you. You fucking torpedo shark. Dude, this thing does damage, too. Does this thing evolve from that one shark thingy, or is there? I don't know. Either way, though, this guy's got a pretty badass shark. Just seems like mo we're seeing more and more new Pokemon, too. It's ridiculous. This guy's still awesome. Don't worry, guys. Still awesome. Okay, uh, we do need to heal. So let's actually use these here. I only got like two lines. Uh, seven super potions. Might as well use those. We will get you in fighting shape and then one to Dracula. So happy's burned, but I think it's probably okay for now. Ooh, we got some waterfalls here. Oh, wait, no, that's, that was that was uh, that was just a current. <laughs> There's a Pokeball over that way. Also, just some more Whaley's. Do I have repels? I think I have repels left, right? Hold up, we gotta grab this item though. As it's a max revive and that is completely useless for us, but you know, we can always take it for the extra money, so. Hop back on the surfboard. Let's see if I have any repels. Cause, oh, I do. Well, we only have one super repel, as it was. It's been evident, okay. What's up, lady? On your way to Ancient Pass, let's see if you'll stand a chance there. Well, I guess we are gonna see. I should just be using Marvin for all these electric types. A narwhal! Oh my god, it's a freaking narwhal with a with a sword. This thing is fucking sweet. How do I is that does Whaley evolve into Narwhal? I really hope it does. So it's gonna go for a slash. Dude, that is an awesome Pokemon. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, one more X scissor though is gonna knock it out. Pretty badass mon you got there, Phoebe. Okay, let's go. No, we can't go. Okay, I, first, I totally thought this was a waterfall the first time I looked at it. Gotta be a hidden item here, right? Hello? 
Y'all got any hidden items for me? Nope, doesn't look like it. Well, we do have some more trainers, and I honestly don't know if I should still be grinding. Like, we still have a couple gyms to go, and like, I'm like around 50. It's maybe just a really high leveled end game. Which is scary for a Nuzlocke, but alright, Jasper just has another one of these damn torpedoes. And uh, this time we're not playing any games, we're going right into Marvin and zapping the hell out of you, boy. So, Water Steel type. Let's meet a takedown, that is good news. Metal Sound, that's not good. Okay, I mean, I think this thing's more of a physical attacker, though. But that's totally fine. And a Lightning Strike should be the trick. Yes, it does. Very cool. Alright, next is a Mark Crush. No idea what a Mark Crush is, but we're gonna stay in, and oh my god. It's a Zebra Shark. This thing's just gonna Aqua Slam, so I assume we'll be good here with a Lightning Strike. Yo, there's so many cool sharks. And dolphins and shit. Yo, we lived that. What the fuck? Okay, well, you know what we're gonna do then? Well, we could, we could take another attack. But I'm just, I'm just so afraid. Oh shit, it has crunch. Oh my god, we lived to a 26 HP. I should have switched out there. That was risky business. This thing just busted out the crunch. Why wouldn't you crunch the first time around? <laughs> my god. Okay, wait, it is making me switch out. Do we, does she have another Pokemon? I thought it was just... Nope, next is a Jellotic. Okay, we'll stay in with Dracula against the Jellotic. So, the freaking little, little jelly nipple boy. Or at least evolved nipple. That doesn't quite die from a crunch. Crazy how being nine levels higher, we're still in some scary situations. I should have assumed that that shark was gonna bust out crunch. It seems like every shark has crunch. Because they, you know, that's what they do. They, they munch and they crunch, but okay. Jasper's de been defeated. And we probably should heal. Because we cannot have shit die. Okay, we're gonna give Ranja. We're gonna give one to Charlotte. And then we'll go ahead and hyper up Marvin because. Marvin, you about died there, buddy. I would have been so upset if I killed Starvin' Marvin. But everything's fine. We're good. Continuing, uh, we can go up this way, which just <laughs> takes us into a loop. And then we can go up this way, which leads to an item. So we'll take that. It is a splash plate. Seems like they give us so many random water items. Splash plate is for... Well, from like Arceus and shit, though. But I think it still does just raise damage of water moves, but cool. Still cruising up some rapids, and we have arrived at Ancient Pass. And that means that we can get a new encounter. I assume there's like a cave. Oh, what you would you look who it is. Hello, sir. Oh, it's you. What are you doing here? Never mind, this is Ancient Pass. You gotta get through here to get to Rassic City. It's a breeze for me. I used to play here when I was a kid, and I can get through with ease. I'm gonna find Rex and beat him. I'll prove that I have what it takes to be the best. Catch you later. Okay, so he doesn't want to battle us because he knows he's about to absolutely get destroyed. So that's good news. Anyway, well, let's put Raj Ranja in front for now. Or er, Donna, I mean. God, I always still get those confused. Anyway, we'll head into the cave. And this place looks pretty damn awesome. We can catch the very first thing we come across. Hopefully, it's something cool and new as we find an elixir. Bunch of, like, broken down pillars in here. And that was it. Hello? Is there any wild Pokemon in here, or should I just... I guess I'm just going to continue to the grass, as it's the same route. But we've got ourselves a hiker here. What's happening, buddy? Just doing some hiking around. Logan here has three Pokemon. He's got a Golemo. Okay, so it's level 41. I'm kind of afraid of this thing, but I think with Bulldozer should be okay. I'm always afraid of these things busting out their own ground moves. Doesn't quite knock it out. Would be fantastic if we could get to the point where Oko and stuff. Brick Break. We can take a brick break. Not very effective, buddy. Golemo looks like a damn Frankenstein, and I hate it. So, Bulldoze gonna kill you. And we will grow to 44 after this. Nice. Getting up there, Donna. Next is a Jewel Tall. Do not remember Jewel Tall. Oh my god. Okay, that's because I have never seen this thing before. Is it like a rock bug? What is this thing? I'm afraid. I'm afraid of what I don't know. So you know what? We're gonna switch into Dracula, who probably—I mean, I hope it's not a rock bug. It's got 
It's called Jewel. Fuck, it is raw. Okay, it's got. It's called Jewel. I switched into my flying type, which was an absolutely awful idea. Took a bunch of damage there. Fuck me. Okay. Um. Our team really hates Rock. I should. Fuck. I'm switching right back into Donnie. I should have just stayed in with Donna. I was a. <laughs> I am afraid. Okay. For some reason, I was like, hey, it's not gonna be Rock type. But no. It, okay. Donna was the. Donna was the matchup here. Apparently, we're just gonna bulldoze you. How about that? Doesn't do very much damage. We we'll get the speed drop, so that's something. Freaking power gem. Very fitting move for this. Just absolutely just throws its gem at me. Seems valuable. What does this evolve from? Have we seen a little baby version of this? Now it's gonna signal me. Yeah, Donna absolutely counters this damn thing. But uh, I, I switched into my flying type, so I was like, you know, I'll just bring in this thing, kill it in acrobatics. That'll be fine. Listen to me just justify my dumb decisions. Okay, um, we're just gonna go ahead and hyper potion you, buddy. Get you back to full. Can't have you dying on me, Donna. I will be stressy and depressy. Freaking signal beam, stop it. Okay. Now we can just kill you. We'll just we'll go for another bulldoze because we know that works. Magic coat, huh? Shrouded itself with magic coat. Very cool Pokemon. I like this thing a lot. A lot of these designs I can see being like actual Pokemon, which is pretty cool. Okay, next is Cosmet. I have no idea what a Cosmet is either, but it looks not that scary. We're gonna bulldoze it and see if that works. Oh, it's got Levitate. Okay. We learned that lesson the hard way. Now it's rock polishing. Oh, Jesus. Please. Spare me. Um, Cosmet. Dude, I don't know what to do to this thing. Um, I'm gonna spiky shield one time. Hopefully it doesn't set up some more. Tries to ancient power. Okay, so definitely just a, a rock flying boy. I mean, poison jab's not gonna do shit to this thing. Iron dolge? What the hell even is that? I know I've seen that before. We get a critical hit. Not very effective. Nice poison too. Nope. Okay. Well, we're just gonna stay in here and poison jab. There's more ancient powers. Does absolutely nothing because Donna be eating dim rocks for breakfast with no milk. All we gotta do is take another ancient power in Wiguchi. Thank you for being an absolute beast, Donna. Alright, down you go. We are also gonna grow another level. Look at us. Oh, wait, no, we're not. Wow, we literally are missing like one XP. True dang. Um, we're gonna Hyper Potion Dracula. And we will also go ahead and, you know what? We'll just see. We have two Super Potions left. There you go, friend. I'm really bummed out about that burn on Happy, which I actually probably could just get rid of nice and easily. But then again, we're also probably kind of close to the city. Let's take a look here on the old map. Yep, we are really close to the city. It looks like we just go up and left. So we'll just hold off on that. And let's see what our encounter is for this new area. I'll try not to kill it. Found a max repel, so that's actually nice. There is actually another trainer here, so we might as well battle you. But also, we'll grab this here max potion. It's a bunch of max stuff. And then there's a strength rock down that way, so we can grab that too. Do you know the history of this place? Not entirely. Please give me a lesson. Tamina has three Pokemon. You have a Blitzglow, level 43. Um, so we should be okay against this thing. Wish I had a rock move, but Poison Jab's just gonna have to do for now. Go ahead and Poison Stab that ass. Maybe a Flame Blurst, Flame Burst, Blurst. Jesus, that did a lot. Okay, well, we're still actually faster though. And this thing's level 43, so god dang, we're really kind of falling behind with these. Wait, trying to learn, was that regular spikes? No, we're gonna, we have poison spikes, we're gonna not. What you got next? Next is an Eclipser. That, it, every, every, um, every damn time I forget about what Eclipser, what I, what I do with these damn things. I'm gonna go into Dracula. Is this some fucking psychic type of... Why is this the one Pokemon I forget every time? Uh, it's, it's Steel type, isn't it? Did I try to crunch. Okay, wait, no, false alarm. That worked out. Critical hit. You dead. I remembered correctly. Okay. When in doubt, crunch the Eclipsers as Dracula grows to 50. Looking nice. Ranja 45. Next is another Jewel Tall. So we now know what to expect from these damn things. We'll just bring back in old Donna. 
Proceed to just bulldoze you. Heckin' magic coating me. You're not gonna get very far with that, Jewel Tall. Really wish this was a digit KO, though. We are gonna be faster since we dropped its speed, though. Crit, please! Can I have a crit? No, I cannot. Critical hits are not allowed around here. Chip away. Okay, that's fine. Kinda scared me for a second, but we good. And you dead. If we could make it to Rassic City without killing something, I will be stoked. Not bad. You know what? Thank you. I pride myself in my Donna. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and also I need to pick up some more hyper potions. We're flying through these bad boys. Actually, probably didn't need to use a hyper there, but we did anyway because fuck it. We have we have money. Okay, so we're not going to use another repel. Kind of forgot that was still on, but our first encounter in this new area. Hey, <laughs> would you look at that? It's a jewel tall. So, uh, nice. Level 36 Jewel Tall. We do know that we could probably bulldoze you and get away with it. Perfect. What are you gonna do? Single beam all day. Okay. Well, this is a really cool bug type for us to get. So, let's go ahead and huck a nice little Ultra Ball at you and hope for the best. Please let me have you. Damn it. Okay, this thing seems like it's gonna be hard to catch. Shatter gem. Hello? What the hell is that? Shatter gem? That's pretty badass. It sounds cool. Did nothing, but some type of rock move, probably. Wow, we're not gonna be able to. Oh man. I'm just gonna keep on hucking ultra balls, because that seems like the way to do it. Come on. Come on, Jewel Tall. And we got it, alright. Persistence is key. Let's take a look at this thing. Darn goes to 46. Looking nice. Okay, so bug rock type. Ancient Rakotuin. Rakotian. <laughs> Rakotuin. <laughs> I don't know how you would pronounce that. Desert pharaohs would train Jewel Tall to sit atop their crown. Uh, this both displayed their nobility and protected them from would be assassins. So, we're going to name you Pharaoh. Because that's actually pretty badass. Cool lore behind this thing. I, even... I was going to say, do I even spell that right? It's an OH, right? <laughs> that, still, that still looks wrong. I literally just saw the word, but I am dumb and we're just going to continue. Okay. Strength gloves. Go ahead and push this bad boy so we can grab this item. Please. It always it takes forever to use strength gloves. And we found an iron, so definitely worth grabbing that. And we shall take it. Okay. So now we can head into the cavey boy. Let's see what's waiting for us on the other end. Jultal, get out of my way. Very fitting Pokemon for this area, though. Young Pharaohs. Okay. So. Oh, would you look who was waiting here? No sign of Team Solar or Team Lunar. Maybe they're not here, but in Rassic City, like the professor mentioned. Yeah, that's. I mean, probably. Seems likely. Ah, it's you, Hayden. I'm glad you came. Have you seen anyone from these weird teams? No? Oh, okay. There, I see him. Sorry, I need to get through. Well, what in the hell is this all about? You guys again. Did you see a guy with spiky hair run through here just now? Sure did. He just went left. Who is he? He went running that way. Move out the way. Hmm, so we are getting into some shit. What was that about? I wonder who that guy is chasing is. Maybe Rick needs help? Hate to say it, but we should follow them. Maybe that guy is part of Team Solar or Team Lunar? Alright. Well, we have next objective here, and we are going to check that out next time. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time. Or, like, you know, see ya.